Stormy Skies and Fiery Trees by Amanda Pizzolatto. He turned to look at her. Then you claim that you love me? She nodded slowly, her heart beating fast. She understood what he, re he was really asking. Do you love me for me? For she has seen several times the girls who claimed that same thing, but wasn't looking for something deep and true. She was surprised by his next action. He pushed her against a wall and stared into her eyes. She nearly gasped. His eyes looked like a raging storm, the wind whipping around rain and clouds as lightning flashed in electrifying blue. But it seemed to calm as he took a step back, and it seemed to completely vanish when he blinked. But that didn't stop her from noticing the hint of surprise on his face as he turned to leave. What did you see? What was in my eyes? He turned back to her. A ring of trees on fire surrounding a dry lake. He paused, then slowly smiled as he stepped towards her. Maybe there's something worth looking into here. You're thirsty, and I bring the rain. But unlike the other girls who are like frightened animals scurrying out of the way of my storm, you stand strong and steady, drinking in everything. Sorry for doubting you, but I've had too many disappointments. She smiled. I know. I've been watching everything from the sidelines. Then he took her by surprise again as he closed in and kissed her, not once, but several times and in quick succession. She gasped when he finally let go. I know. I inspire you, right? He whispered. Yes, for some things. Wait, not everything? He frowned. She giggled. No, not everything. Now don't go all Peter Pan on me. He grinned boyishly. I'll try not to. I'll pick you up tomorrow at eight. All right. He kissed her again before walking off. She watched him walk away, unable to keep the grin and a blush from forming on her face while her eyes sparkled like the dew left from a generous rain. She understood him better than he thought, for the boys she had gone out with before had been like those scurrying animals he mentioned, drinking from her lake and not giving anything back, drying her up into a desert. But there was no fear of that now, for they finally found each other. Her wait was over.